And we are back on the Zero Hour. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about this rancher who seems to have captured the imagination, if imagination is the right word, uh, of the of people like Sean Hannity. And this, of course, is the guy who's running his cows on federal land, refusing to pay grazing rights, even though cows have an enormous uh, footprint on the, or hoofprint if you prefer, on, on the environment. They do a lot of damage to the land. There's a lot of wear and tear, um, a lot of pollution that goes along with grazing cattle. He doesn't want to pay for it. And for some reason, this, is, uh, this makes this guy a hero because he coaches his theft and his terrorism in the language of uh, patriotism and the simple-minded right uh, decides that that's something to honor and respect. Of course, if he was, if the situation were reversed, if he were, let's say, grazing on private land, um, one doesn't think that he would be uh, quite as much of a hero to the right. Let's hear from Sean Hannity himself, who who gave a fawning interview to this gentleman um, recently. Let's hear a couple clips from that interview. Pete, can we listen, listen to the first one of those clips? Do you worry that, in fact, they may kill either your dad or somebody in your family? Well, you know, this battle's been going on for my whole life, almost. And if death were our main fear... We wouldn't be here today. Uh, freedom is much greater than uh, to than than death. And uh, I mean, I can't uh, imagine. People have to understand that. I can't imagine that they would ratchet this up to that level over land that they that you're arguing they don't even own, that they don't even want to use. It's not like they want to build a school, a road, or or a hospital. That land's going to stay vacant, whether or not your cattle are on it or not, right? I wonder if Sean Hannity's got any land on his property that he's not using. Because I, there are a lot of homeless people out there, and I think they could use a place to live, don't you? Uh, set up a few tents, that kind of thing. If not using so – first of all, there's no reason to believe they're, they're not using it. Uh, land held in – you know, this is part of the right's assault on the whole notion of the commons, of the idea that we as a people can, can own something and preserve it because it has value. Because it is beautiful, because it deserves to be preserved. And this notion, you know, are you prepared to die to not pay? Your, you know, he makes it an issue of freedom. This guy just doesn't want to pay his fee to the American people for despoiling their land. And uh, if anything, that grazing fee is probably too low. But let's listen to the other clip from Sean Hannity and his hero, this ranch or whatever his name is. I'm blanking on his name because, frankly, he's a He's a placeholder for all the other insane nuts out there. But let's hear the uh, second clip. All right, but uh, let's put these two things together here. We have Richard Mack, the former sheriff of Graham County, Arizona. He made the comment that he has sources inside the federal government warning that the weekend retreat was only a move to distract attention, diffuse tensions, because a raid on the family's ranch is being planned. Couple that with Harry Reid's comments that this is not over. You've got to believe that something is brewing here, No. <laughs> well, I got something to say to Harry. I, uh, you know, Harry, uh, Nevada citizens, we the people elected you to go back to the United States Senate and uh, take care of the United States business, which would might be something like defend us from foreign nations. Harry, get back there and take care of that work and leave us alone here in Nevada. If you have no business here in Clark County, Nevada... See, you know, what this guy doesn't understand, what Sean Hannity chooses not to understand because his bosses tell him that. Um, but what this guy, Sean Hannity's a salesman. Look, he's not a thinker. He's not an ideologue. He's a salesman. But uh, what this guy is really saying is that the federal government has no business in Nevada, that might makes right, that he'll take what he wants, and that if you don't like it, that's too bad. Um, now, the fact that uh, he thinks that the federal government has no place in Nevada just shows he doesn't understand the way the system works. He himself said the people of Nevada... Harry Reid. The people of this country elected everyone who manages our federal government, and yet he doesn't want to submit to the will of the people. That's what you get when you get an ideal log like this in charge. 